we now head onto the motorway and into Edinburgh, perhaps the most beautiful city in Europe, whose many national museums, galleries and libraries offer free entry. However, our first port of call is the district of Stockbridge. Described as a curious mix of grandeur and romance more than a hundred years ago, and the same can be said today. It owes much to the artist Sir Henry Rayburn, mentioned earlier, who was born here in 1756 in a little cottage next to the Mill Laid. He was an orphan at nine and attended George Heriot's school as a penniless inmate. He was an apprentice at 16 to a goldsmith and at 22 married a wealthy widow who bought him her estate at Stockbridge. By 28 he was the best known painter in Scotland and began work on the new layout of Stockbridge in 1813. The result is much as we see it today. A few years later, in 1820, the fine arched entrance to St Stephen's Market was erected, as was the curious St Stephen Street, which is adorned with a busy array of antique shops, galleries and restaurants, much as it has been since its inception. Indeed, little seems to have changed here over the preceding 180 years. <laughs> 